This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams was another good one for financial markets and also marked the end of another good month for 2024. The tech-heavy NASDAQ index led the way, up 1.34% for the week, while the S&P 500 rose nearly 1%, and the only losing index for the week was the Dow, which was down one-tenth of 1%. The earnings season is winding down, and it's been a good one. Of the 97% of the S&P 500 companies that have reported fourth quarter earnings results, 73% reported an upside earnings surprise, while 64% reported better-than-expected revenue results. The big economic report of the week was the PCE, the Personal Consumption Expenditures Index, on Thursday, the Federal Reserve's preferred inflation gauge, which showed a rise of four-tenths of 1% in January, right in line with expectations. Now, matching expectations was good enough for the bulls, as it points to further disinflation at both the headline and core levels of inflation. It was a big win for the central bank's war on inflation following a hotter-than-expected consumer and producer price index reports earlier in February. The economy continues to hold up far better than anyone has expected. Fourth quarter gross domestic product was revised a touch lower to 3.2% from 3.3%, but remained strong. But it still caused some investors to start worrying. Instead of expecting the worst, investors should just accept that we have been in a bull market, a bull market that began in October, not this past October, but October of 2022, when the Dow was trading at 30,000. The Dow closed Friday over 39,000. The good news is based on history, this booming bull market is only half over. The average bull market since 1930 has lasted 694 days, according to Ned Davis Research. The current bull is only 344 days old, implying that it's only at about its midpoint. This is the major reason why I always counsel against market timing or sitting on the sidelines waiting for the same experts who predicted the no-show recession to sound the all-clear signal. Remember, no one can predict the unpredictable, and no one can know the unknowable. But there will always be plenty of ordinary people on Wall Street promising you extraordinary things.